famously, of course, your head is on a pike behind the, the, the wall of the of final sin. boss. Uh, was that you, or was that the guy sort of playing a, doing a goofing on you, or what? What was the story with uh, the head? So yeah, that was my head. That was taken from a picture <laughs> that was taken at ID. Um, so what happened was I was basically uh, the art. The artist thought that. Well, okay, so I was at night. I was programming the sounds of that level. Yeah. And uh, and Which I needed to get the the boss scream when you hit it with a rocket. Yeah. So um, to do that, I didn't want to like try and play the level where I'm like having every monster come after me and spawning monsters and and all that stuff. I just wanted to shoot the thing. So, so shoot the sprite that was hidden in the wall back there. So I no clipped back there, and as I was no clipping outside the level, there's a Hall of Mirrors effect. Yep. And I was getting closer, and I thought I saw myself on the screen. <laughs> I was like, "What is going on?" So I thought I saw my reflection, and then I got inside that room, and I'm like, "No way! Seriously, <laughs> they hid my head in here." And and I was just, I knew it was hidden in there. It wasn't, you know, and they didn't say anything to anybody. It was the That's artists awesome. that did it. It was Adrian and Kevin. <laughs> and so they hid my head in there, and I'm like, so they think that when the game comes out that they're going to laugh and tell me what they did, but <laughs> now I know what they did. <laughs> so I'm going to put a secret in here that lets them know that I found out. <laughs> and so that's what I did was I, I was thinking, how do I let them know that I found this when the game comes out. So I thought, well, that's my head behind the, the, the boss. And to win the game, you have to shoot my head. Yeah. So why don't I say to win the game, you must kill me, John Romero, but I'll <laughs> reverse it and pitch shift it so it sounds evil. <laughs> so when you come into that room, it sounds like that big icon of sin on the wall is yep. saying something to you. So I, Bobby Prince was there. You know, and it was like 10 at night or something. I went in there and I told him the whole story. Yeah, so your sound guy. Sound yeah, so he recorded it. He pitch shifted it. I programmed it in. First thing the next day, as soon as everyone gets to work, American McGee comes in. Oops, we were and he, pl you know, everyone, we were all over this game constantly. So yeah. as soon as we started testing the level, as soon as he started testing the level, he heard that. And he's like, ooh, scary reverse pitched back, you know, back backwards <laughs> voice. Let me reverse it immediately to hear it. So he pitch shifted. You know, he basically didn't need pitch shifted. He just reversed it, and he found out exactly what it said, and they told everybody. So the joke lasted a day. <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, but we left it in because it was funny. You know, but it was, it was this, like, in, it, it was just an in-joke that we were trying to do between ourselves. So it wasn't a John Romero ego thing. It was totally this just team. It was the, the artist who on each hated other. me. <laughs> <laughs> putting my head in there as a joke. And um, anyway, I thought it was I thought it was awesome, and of we left course. it in because it was so funny. And we'd already gone through all the work. It would take more work to actually get it out of there, so why do that? Um, so we just left it in there. And then everybody got to see it and figure, you know, kind of guess what it meant. <laughs> but what it was was just an in-joke. <laughs>